Yo, hopefully I'm speaking loud enough for you guys. It's a few people said I didn't speak loud enough. We talked about how the uh, number removal matters here. It gives you direction. This should be your typical slight scraping. And there appears to be no, no lateral scraping on this side. So that would put our forces coming from this direction back towards the wall. Or we have to have failure from the wall right here, that buckling. And then it would be pulling back towards that wall. So the forces are pretty light there. Um, I don't really have it pulling back from the wall. But it's a possibility because there's no anchorage up here, as I understand. Let's tie in witness statements. Remember, witness statements, we don't want to discount any of them. Here's our pulling appears to change direction now. And now it, it's uh, this deck is resisting. And we get the... Uh, the, the, the uh, Cheese grater coming down the face, uh, down the sides of this, but holding on. Let's get the witness statement. The one that says, where she says that the, the, uh, the family member, the son, says the floor fell beneath him. All right, we also have her, the, the, the mama, mama bear, saying that she saw the, this outside was collapsed. But they're on the first floor, so how can we get the floor beneath him collapsing? Right, we don't have him. The, the decks be, uh, below him, where there's the ground, and we see video where there, there's uh, the, the floor did not collapse. We see cars there, so the floor didn't sink hole in, and he wouldn't have heard that as a collapse, right? He heard a collapse, and the way I present, you guys should catch on by now. As the one lady said, I'm starting to catch on to you now, and you you go too slow. Well, I kind of still am doing that because I want to give you data that lets you catch it before I say it. And now here I'm going to say it, and, it, and I'm, the screen is not by mistake because he's looking at the screen, this image. So she, he heard, he said he heard the deck below him crash down. Well, he's at the deck below him. He is there. There is no deck below him. So what could have he, what could have he heard? He could have heard a column collapse over, right? And then the building took a while to fall. That could be that column there. And also he could have heard... And or he could have heard this. See the delamination this deck tears off. And let's pretend like this is the column to his room. His room's here. The deck falls down. But underneath of his deck, as it, the, his floor is here. It's still existing. He's standing in that room, 111 let's call it. But underneath, the rebar tears away. And blam, it slams down onto the floor below what he hears. But in reality, he's on this much concrete. He's on concrete above it. We could have a delamination of the rebar tearing down, as we saw in many of the images, the rebar and the pad being separated. We have that in a parking garage with the fireman. You see that clearly you see a pad there. But in his case, obviously they were able to escape. That the, the delamination would be in plane. And we have an in plane reason because we have an elevation change um, from the deck to from the deck, we have an elevation change from the deck to inside the structure where his room is, where their rooms are located. So clearly you can get, um, he can hear a slamming, a floor call, fl falling. So that would be the floor outside, or it could be the uh, his, part of his floor delaminating from the underside with the rebar there, tearing it down, slamming down, and still enough integrity for him to have a floor that he's standing on. That would be good, that timeline of the, of the uh, video uh, the timeline for him to escape. And during that timeline of eight minutes, the lady or the people uh, observed from the street from the park, into the parking garage area, the water and also the, the slab on the ground. That slab, it, it always, it's always part of my data that it's not clean. It's not a clean joint. It looks kind of raggedy to me at the end. Um, that's my bias. It does not look like a clean edge, a control joint, expansion joint type deal. It looks like it was a rip. So, we have um, the elevation change from, from the deck into the structure. That elevation change, what we showed in previous videos. So, tying it together, as people ask me to do a little tie together. Um, that's what I, where, where's my image? Hold on. Uh, image, imagery, imagery. Uh, hmm. So, we have, we can have part of the deck here intact in and part not intact. We have this. We need to work this way back to the to the main structure. 
this puts it uh, the epicenter more here uh, with that wave effect pushing here and it's just punch here. So these just punch down, but this has got also has a lateral movement against it. As you can see, numbers on one side from the fireman's department side, we can see this side, and we can see the back side, and I believe you can probably see that side also. But from this point, we see, yeah, someone said, don't hit your mic. Well, it's, it's a, a mic I use that I hit. I apologize. So the uh, from here, we see that it, it rubbed, and from this point, it skips. That's probably where the other column was behind us here, took on a uh, punk shear also, and then it both of them released at the same time, no longer having forces to press against here. It releases and skips down, and that's where you see uh, that tile um, standing up. The outside wall, the slab deck design, you don't we don't see any buckling. This you know I, don't, I wouldn't count that as buckling. Um, it's a floor slab connection here probably here, and that's, I don't know what that is, but I, I wouldn't count it as buckling. Uh, I'd be part of the progressive collapse, the failure then is trying to hold on. It's just probably, you could say it's snapped or compressed from one side. But during the failure, you know, yeah, I could, I could, uh, I wouldn't call it buckling as we know it, like overloading. So we remove the deck, remove the deck from here, have the deck failing first, because we know structurally it was unsound, right? We, we've got... Plenty of data on that. There's the column there. We have plenty of data on that. And this column here, see this column here? It's clean on this side, right? Clean. This column here and this column are of significant um, removal of materials here and here. This having more removal of materials than this one. So we're getting closer to the deck more so than, out, than me being able to support out here. I, I can support it. Out here is a failure. If we can get this breaking here, that would start the butterfly, but that would have the deck, this load, in a pulling capacity. I don't have that. It would have more been like a hinge at this point. I think if it broke here, it would have hinged off the top of here and sort of uh, uh, leaned over. But in this case, if it broke there, it falls on the cars. And from there, it would be the angle would be from here to the top of the car where we see it now. Just lift this deck back up and put it back up here. Um, it's it's not much of momentum going. If I don't, it's momentum and it could happen. So don't let my biases bias be too much. But it I don't see it happening that way. I I try. I know somebody asked me to try. I just can't get it to do it from there. From here, I, the data just keeps going back here, and this is bias. But now we have stripped off numbers, so we got that force in that direction, and here. Now they're demoing. When they're demoing, I hope that live video and video guys, you guys can capture, do some heavy lifting, can find the rest of this pattern back to the structure of showing this uh, wave effect. So punch down, sliding down here, three-sided failure over there, leaning down, then one side, this side getting most of the failure, uh, the, the uh, cheese grater, if you will, and then this side, this side, punch failing, punch failing on three sides. Um, so it's actually being ripped down through here on this side, punch failing on the three sides, if that can help you describe that better. On this side, just punch failing um, um, on, this looks like two directional, looks like mostly on this side, but here. Um, and then stop that wave action stopping over here. Over here we see clean, so we would see, we need to see the other two, but over here apparently it looks like some grinding going down that side. So I have it wherever this column is. If you guys triangulate, you guys are awesome. Save me some trouble, you know, going through it besides I like your extra verification. If you triangulate from these two columns to the center column here, the span, we can probably start backing up towards the building at this point, and we're almost there. I don't think we're at the transfer beams yet, but we're almost there. Um, and so we also need the lady to be able to escape, uh, the family to be able to escape. They run out the hallway, I believe, out through the front door. So their floor literally cannot be, can collapse unless we get sections of it collapsing like this, the underside collapse, and you still see decking above. That would help tie in witness statements, including his about the floor below me. Um, Crashed. Again, he could be hearing a column failure, 
or he could, or this could explain the floor below him crashing, that it, it, that it delaminated and came down. Part of the demolition would be really observing this, but it appears like this is uh, the cameras are not on this on this for learning reasons. The cameras are kept away from this. I mean, there's so much that this that could be learned from this if they shared video of the of everything being uh, demoed. I mean, all angles. Uh, it, it's a shame that that it's more about not getting to the bottom of the bottom of the truth of this because there's nothing like being able to go back and look at the video we scream we want cops to have uh video cameras but when it comes to this something like this the municipality all of a sudden says nothing to see here nothing to see here no cameras allowed no cameras allowed no cameras allowed so this you know no drones allowed so how is, how is that amazing, right? So anyway, no cameras allowed. They should have cameras all over this thing while they're taking it apart so we can all evaluate as we go. Um, all right, I'm going to end this video, but wanted to show you the, uh, that I'm directing your, back, your attention back towards this load path here and here. And bring us in also tying in the witness statement to get us the uh, banging down. Ending video, and you guys do a little lifting for me and get me this column. If you can get me a different direction of it, let's see it. Not, uh, let's see what it looks like on the other side. Let's see what the next column looks back further back. You can't get it. With that said, I gave you enough data now. If you want to see how these columns failed, you look at them and see if the floors actually rubbed against them as they went down. Or did they break free? And then you would look for the rubbing down the side of these columns. Take care. Love you all. Except for my haters, of course. Please like and subscribe. I, I just like to say that. Uh, people say at the end of the videos. I think that's so uh, interesting. Um, all right. Thank you. Take care.